When I first met Kristen and Kyra six months ago, they were desperate to have a place to call their own. But with only an emergency budget of £1,000, they'd set themselves the most remarkable challenge of trying to build their first home almost entirely from scrap, find on Kyra's parents' farm. For ages, we just kept calling it the shed because it just didn't look like anything. It was just a shed. But now we have to keep changing. No, it's a cabin. People <laughs> live in cabins, they don't live in sheds. As far as I'm concerned, it's a beautiful home. Mm -hmm. Looking at their new home, it's impressive to think that the trailer base, walls, roof, windows and fittings have been sourced for free from amongst the junk found on the farm. Oh, that is incredible. Very, very smart. The tiny custom-designed living space is elegantly simple, packed with clever multifunctional furniture and storage, and the view framed by the floor to ceiling glass wall is stunning. That is a really well planned, well designed space. Not quite the 21st century super white. Modern, I was expecting, to be honest. I don't think super white would work too well on a farm. Muddy <laughs> <laughs> like, wellies coming in yeah. and soon become Took super brown. Took a lot brown. of convincing for you to actually realise that, but yeah. yeah. So, in some ways, you won. I don't want to don't say that tell him that. that. I won't you? tell him that. I totally won. Basically, won. With separate areas for eating, relaxing, and sleeping, Christian and Kyra have made maximum use of the tiny 15 square metre space. And then you come through to what is your kind of desk study workspace, which is fabulous. I love the desk. Did you make it? It's a reclaimed bed head. It's a reclaimed bed head. Yeah. Is that circular window from a washing machine? Yes. <laughs> I love that. For a while we weren't going to have it, but managed to get it in there. With space at such a premium, the desk not only offers extra storage, it also provides an ingenious way of getting to bed. And it also then doubles up as a mini ladder to your sleeping mezzanine deck on top. Yeah. Can I clamber up? Go for it. So can I stand on all this? This is your kind of storage and ladder at the same yeah. time. Can I stand on the desk? Yeah, yeah. that's is that all right. Works. Yeah, you can stand God, it must there. be well built if I can take my way. <laughs> <sighs> Do you know what? It's a times like this. I wish I was a bit smaller. <laughs> Suits me. <laughs> Perfect for you. Yeah. It's at this level where that triangular window really comes to life. And you're looking right through the whole space, out to that fantastic view beyond. Christian and Kyra built the cabin so they could avoid paying rent and start saving for a future home. But did they achieve their goal of building it at no cost? This for you is a stepping stone. It's a, it's a, it's a mini home. How much does this cost you? I think we're on about 1,500 quid. I'd say so. So you think you've gone 500 pounds over your emergency yeah. budget? What, what tipped the balance? What cost that extra money? There's like a few extra bits of... We used a few bits of new steel for the trailer because it had to be solid. We were building a, a house on it, so... And you're going to be saving on a lot of rental over the next few years, aren't you? Well, hopefully. Yeah, so the build will pay for itself within a couple of months, really. Mm. A couple of months' worth of rent. So. The build will pay for itself mm. in a couple of months Easily. of rent. Yeah. yeah. So it just buys you a bit of time. Yeah to save up for a deposit and maybe do something else further down the line. Yeah. I don't think it's hit home yet. No, it, it's, uh, it is a nice feeling. <laughs>